CBC's Kim Brunhuber is at the scene of the shootings. Kim. Peter, I'm here in a community center where family are being reunited with loved ones who fled the building where the shooting took place. These are some of the few happy scenes in San Bernardino tonight. It is perhaps as unlikely a target for a horrific crime as one could imagine, a center for people with developmental disabilities. At around 11 a.m., reports came in that three shooters had entered the building, then went into a conference room where county health employees were apparently having a Christmas party. Police say the shooters were well armed. They were dressed and equipped in a way to indicate that they were prepared, and they, had, they were armed with long guns, not handguns. During the ordeal, parents got panic calls from their loved ones. Terry Pettit's daughter sent him a frantic text. She sent you some texts? She did. What did she say? She said, uh, um, shooting at my work, people shot in the office waiting for cops. <laughs> but she's okay. Pray for us. I am locked. You can hear many, many uh, uh, boom, boom, booms. And th so she said, I love you, mama. I Elsa Torres tells me her daughter was one of the hundreds who were evacuated. You're going in to see your daughter now. You must be really relieved. I want to give her a big hug, a big, uh, say how I love her. Say thanks, God, because she's alive. The shooting spree lasted a minute or two. Then the shooters fled in a dark SUV. San Bernardino is very resilient. Uh, we will uh, recover from this, uh, and we will do the best that we can to make sure that our community continues to stay, to stay safe. But there were tense moments ahead. A couple of hours later, police cars gave chase to that SUV. Reports say people inside lobbed pipe bombs as they tried to get away. The SUV was eventually stopped near the airport. A fierce shootout ensued. When the gunfire died down, police still weren't taking any chances, bringing out the heavy militarized equipment, the bomb squad and SWAT teams. Police spent much of the night going door to door, combing a wide area for clues or witnesses who might shed some light on the motive for these shootings. And of course, they want to know whether they had any help or whether they were part of any larger organization. But of course, the task of the police much tougher now in the dark. Peter.